Hey Ratbags, it's Jay. Welcome to a Valheim news video today, taking a look at more sneak peeks, the dev status on the Mistlands, and look at this background. What is this? Also, Valheim's finally won a award about bloody time. In fact, they've won probably the most important award, in my opinion, from their peers. At GDC, most recently, a game developer conference, they have won best game. I'm going to go over that news and what's in this latest dev blog. Let's go. So they won the best voted category from the audience as well as best debut game. And so that's decided by panel judges. But basically it's a lot of game developers have chosen for them to win this. So that's really good stuff. The best game awards is literally cooked up by the people that attend. So that's everyone that goes there as well as all the game devs. So finally they deserve the recognition. Valheim got passed by by a couple of games this year that I really didn't think were anywhere close to being as good. Even only maybe three quarters finished, Valheim still beats so many. I then go over the news that obviously the Steam Deck compatibility has rolled out this month and of course they did only launch the Frost Caves a few weeks ago and now they're fully focused on working on the Mistlands. New dungeons, new creatures, weapons. They've said it's going to be a huge undertaking with many pieces that need to slot together before it can become the complete experience it needs to be. It's going to require a lot of iterations and testing before it's done. The biome is quite some time away still, but we're excited for it and we believe the result will be well worth the wait. Until then, here's a piece of concept art we'd like to share with you. Absolutely, it does look like we're getting a variation of some sort of spider's web or spider's silk, or possibly another creature that excretes it. This is what this looks like to me, and I think it's definitely confirming that we're going to have some sort of arachnid creature in the game. Now do bear in mind, it is concept art. It does look like it's been basically painted on and then put onto an actual picture of landscape. But I love the idea of this. A foreboding, dark, dusty dungeon filled with possible spiders and all sorts. Are they going to be nodes that we're going to break down to get loot or some of that silky resource? The actual sort of silk here looks more like a kind of slime than an actual proper silk. And again, I'm loving that. If they're actually mixing it up a bit, who says it has to be just a regular bog standard spider's web? Maybe it'll have different properties. Or it is just silk and it's just glinting in the lights here. Maybe even golden silk. And yes, finally confirming that Richard did tease a new weapon on Twitter a few weeks ago. The crossbow. It looks like it's going to be made out of dark metal. I think that's dark metal on the top there, which is about right. It should be like a late or mid tier weapon. And clearly just wood and possibly silver at the ends. And they do go over the fact that they did show off the Missilens bow being worked on. So absolutely guaranteed we're going to be getting two new weapons. And it makes sense as well, considering they've already revealed the moth-like creature. Having more ways to take down creatures at range is obviously going to be important in the Missilens. They have said that some of these will look a bit different when the update comes out, as they're not the final versions, so there may be iterations on them. They're also highlighting a build of the month. This one's been done by Versal. And that's a great little cozy build. Nice little pathway with the gatehouse. So given what they've said, I have also been saying this as well. I'm not expecting Miss Lands to be out at any point until at least maybe May. And yeah, it might even be longer than that. What I do hope is we are going to get smaller stuff in between then. I think having stuff like the bows maybe added to the game in the test branch at least would be a good idea. Let us play around and test this, even if it's like a good few weeks or months ahead of the Miss Lands. Obviously, the only exception or problem with that could be whether or not some of these new weapons require resources that you can only get in the Mistlands. But even then, maybe there's a way they can swap out stuff. Like I can imagine maybe the string on the bow needs to be crafted with something like this. That means you've got your dark metal from the goblins and stuff. Then you're moving on to the next buy in the Mistlands to go and get the next part for that weapon. I could be completely off on that. It might just be not an actual requirement. They tend to be very simple, they keep the weapons and stuff very, very simple. So it's probably going to be just wood, dark metal and silver. But yeah, I think they should do this. Add some of these slowly, even if it's just the crossbow for a few weeks. Then add the bone bow a couple of weeks later. Let us play and mess around with them. Even if it's just in the game files on the public test servers where we can spawn them in, rather than actually go and explore biomes to go and get resources. But there we go. Later on tonight, I've got my Valheim vs. Grounded podcast. This is part one and part two. The second part should be out tomorrow. Spent a good two hours playing Valheim and Grounded with the Valheim developers and the Grounded developers. 
Nice chilled chat. I'm not gonna lie and clickbait it and say there's a million answers in there. It's more just about how they make games. Some of the best bits and the negatives of developing both of their games. So check it out, it's gonna be premiering later on tonight at 9 p.m. UK time. I'll be there answering questions in chat. And part two should be out tomorrow night about the same time. And again, just a reminder, I am getting back into Valheim. I've been covering a whole bunch of games over the last few years, but I really want to get back into just survival and covering only one or two games. And as I've told you guys before, Valheim is going to be one of them games. I've just been waiting for a good block of time. I am going to be probably doing a modded series. Otherwise, I might just carry on with my 100 days that I did. We only got up to Moda, so maybe if you guys want me to carry on that, let me know. As well as some other ideas I've got for Valheim. So that's all coming in the next few weeks. We're going to have proper schedules, proper streams every day. So check me out in the future. And that's it. For more Valheim news, I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.